Hi, welcome to How Do I Do? In this episode we'll be talking about faucet aerators and the right way to maintain them and clean them. I hope you enjoy! Here's a picture of two faucet aerators that have been removed from the taps. Okay, so here we are today. We're going to talk about the faucet aerators. Uh, you might want to know why you need to uh, check your faucet aerator or why does a faucet aerator need maintenance? Well, the reason a faucet aerator might need maintenance is a couple of different reasons. One, uh, the uh, materials, the deposits that come out of the minerals, out of your water, uh, like to stick to metal surfaces. Uh, so sometimes they accumulate on the aerator and they cause uh, the, tap, the aerator to, to be restricted. Another reason that you might want to uh, change your or clean your uh, faucet aerator is if you had some recent plumbing work done. Uh, the plumber does everything that he can to uh, make sure that he's doing a good job but if you have copper pipes uh, sometimes there's a, a cutting and a reaming process that will sometimes leave metal deposits in your water system and if those metal deposits make their way up the plumbing system they'll be trapped in your aerator and you won't have a nice water flow and it could obstruct it and so the uh, purpose of an aerator what does it do well it's uh, designed so that it uh, restricts the flow of water so that it's less wasteful and it also uh, presents a nice stream of water into your water basin so that it it's just a nice gentle flow into your basin. Okay, so uh, let's look at a typical aerator. Now an aerator on this particular sink, you'll find it right at the very end of your tap set. Here you see a single handle tap set and at the very end is where the aerator is located. So this particular aerator, I've already had that off uh, say two years ago and I've cleaned it out. Uh, I haven't had any major plumbing work done in there so I suspect that this particular aerator would be pretty clean. But I'm going to take it off too to show you the deposits that uh, form on the end of the aerator and what you should be looking for. So the tools you're going to need to uh, do this job are very simple tools, very basic tools. You're going to need the, uh, you may need, you may not need, but you may need channel lock pliers. I carry my Mastercraft channel lock pliers here. Um, in an extreme case, you may need Teflon tape. And I like to use a toothbrush to clean out the aerator. It's really good for getting into those uh, little tiny holes, which I'll show you later. Okay, so uh, let's clean the aerator. So if we look at this particular one here, most aerators are screwed in and they're usually... Um, trouble you'll have getting it off is if it's corroded and you'll be able to see sometimes corrosion in and around the aerator. It kind of looks like white deposits or green deposits. This one looks pretty clean, but generally if it's uh, in not bad shape, you should just be able to grab it by your hand and just loosen it off by hand. And you see here, off, a little bit squeaky. Oh, there it comes. And there's the aerator. You can see here deposits of minerals and such on the outside edge of the, of the aerator here. Inside the little rubber washer to make a good seal. You can take that out, if you can get your finger in there, sometimes pushing on the bottom part here pushes the washer out. Make sure you keep being inventory of how all these parts go in there. Don't mix them up when you go to put them back or it'll be a major man puzzle and it could be quite frustrating. So we're going to put the washer down first in the order that we take them out. If you push up from the bottom of the aerator on the screen, gently, gently push up. The parts pop out from the top. Make sure that you keep them in order. And you'll see the aerator itself here. If you continue to push up on that, it pops apart. The top of that. And then you'll see inside there, there is a little bit of stuff in there that we'll have to clean out. So you can just pop that little screen up and out. A 
sometimes it's a good idea just to see if that'll just wash out. Just, and you can just rinse that out. Make sure you don't lose any parts. Just like that. And most of that stuff came out. However, it is going to need a little bit more attention. So I'm just going to push that screen out of there gently. There's the part that uh, keeps the screen down at the bottom. Make sure we don't mix that part up. And then the screen came out of the carrier there. You can use your toothbrush in there and get those little bits out of the screen. Go ahead and just rinse that off a little bit. Uh, your aerator has a lot of mineral deposits. I'll show you here. This particular part here has a lot of mineral deposits on the end. That's pretty normal to get those deposits on there because of hard water. It could also be caused because of uh, iron deposits. You see inside here and on the top side mineral and iron deposits can form in there. And the best way to get that off is if you put it in a little CLR. I don't have any here, but if you take a small cup and put these parts in a little bit of CLR and soak them for two or three hours, it'll be a lot easier to, to wash them off. In your CLR solution, if you had, these ones here are very uh, thin coating of, of deposits, so they come off very, very easily. Use a little water to help you clean them. So this is looking a lot better now. And really, if you don't get every last crumb of it off, that's okay because uh, this part here uh, essentially doesn't allow, doesn't alter the flow of the water at all. It's more or less just the uh, outside housing of the aerator that is used to uh, hold all the pieces together. The reason I have these channel lock pliers here is because if this aerator was really difficult to remove, I would have taken this shop cloth. Now you have to be very careful with this and I don't recommend pushing on that too much because what you sometimes have to do if the mineral deposits are very heavily, you have to wrap the aerator with the shop cloth and then you would take your channel lock pliers around the cloth and grab onto the aerator and help you to unscrew it uh, and you put the shop cloth on there so that you don't leave those unsightly marks on there after you're done. These teeth on the channel lock pliers would actually damage the finish on there and then it'll be uh, leave little burrs and sharp spots. Try not, have, try not to wrench on it too hard. So that's why I have the channel lock pliers. Luckily this one came off by hand. So inspect all Don't mix them up. There's some really tiny parts there. Again, it's a good idea to soak them in CLR. This piece here, it comes apart further if you uh, take the little lid off there with a little tiny screwdriver or a pick of some kind. I'm not gonna take this one off today because I know it's clean inside. And then essentially take the body again. You know that you had, uh, you know how you took it apart because you were very careful to uh, set them, set them down in a way that you wouldn't mix it up. There's your aerator assembly. This washer goes on top, that's to seal the aerator in there. You drop that all back in the body again. Make sure when you push it down that the aerator assembly goes all the way into the body. Like that. Might have to give it a little turn to help it seat. Put the 
washer back in there and then you just thread it back on. Now you only need to thread this thing on as tight as is necessary so that it doesn't leak. That's it. No tighter than that. If you put it really, really loose, you might find that it leaks around the outside edge. But in this case, it looks like it's on there perfectly. Looks like uh, the flow of this was actually obstructed by some of that debris because it's, it's flowing much better than it used to. So that, uh, that aerator is now installed and it's on the sink and it's working great. So that's it. That's how you clean an aerator. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like what you see, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks again and we'll see you next time.